Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just want to show you how you can verify that you've got a uh, compatible model uh, PS1 for your PS1 digital kits. Uh, they're only uh, compatible with PU18 and PU20 boards that can be found in SCPH5501 consoles or SCPH7001 consoles. Uh, if you're looking specifically for a PU18 so that you can do the PS1 digital as well as a X station, uh, then I would recommend trying to find you a 5501 uh, because those typically only have PU18 boards in them. Uh, and then in the 7001, you can find PU18s or PU20s. But as of right now, the X station is not compatible with PU20s. So, uh, I'm just gonna show you real quick how you can verify this. All you're gonna need is a, a number two Phillips. Remove the six screws around here. Okay, with those six out, you can take the top off. And then from here, you will need to remove your optical drive. So carefully pull out your ribbon cable here and your other connector. And then this will just slide up out of the way. Go ahead and disconnect these two cables here. Uh, the power cable here can only come back one way, so you won't be able to plug it back in the wrong way. And you've got one, two, three, and four more screws. Okay, and then just grab back here in the back and slowly pry up. There you go. And then you can just flip this up. And right here I can see that this is a PU18. So this is a compatible model. So I would recommend that you check anyways, even if it is a 5501, um, uh, you never know who's been in these consoles, swap parts out, anything like that. Uh, so just to make sure, so you don't run into any issues when you send your uh, console in for me, to install your PS1 digital kit, just go down this far um, and, and verify that your board is compatible. Uh, and then to put everything back together, it's just in reverse. I'll go ahead and show that. So we'll just put this back. You've got arrows pointing at where you need to install your screws. Uh, this one I pulled out here actually didn't even need to come out. There's only two different screw sizes in the uh, PS1 console, so it's really easy to keep track of them. Uh, all the black screws are used for the case. We'll put our controller port back in here. This is plug them just like that this little weight always goes on this side and like I said you can't plug your power cable back in uh, backwards if I was going to try to plug this in the other way it just would not fit so there's no way you're gonna mess that up Get that back in here bring our optical drive back in that in, move this in, sits right on these posts. There we go. And put your top back on.
little port cover back on. And there you go. It is that easy to verify that your PlayStation 1 is compatible with the PS1 digital kit. Hope this helps.